Well, hello there and happy Sabbath. This week's scripture song is found in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. And it says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, through faith. And this not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not by works, so that no one can boast. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. Sing along with me. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, through faith. And this not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not by works, so that no one can boast. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Sabbath School. I am so happy that you have joined us. Now, for the month of March, we're going to be looking at the book of Galatians in the Bible. Today, our lesson is about Jesus is the way. We learn all kinds of things about Jesus through the Bible, don't we? Well, this morning, I want to test your knowledge of truth. Now I'm going to do it through animals, not through the Bible quite yet, but I'm going to ask you several questions and I want you to decide if this is true or if this is false. First question, a horse weighs approximately 1,200 pounds and eats approximately seven times its own weight in a year. That amounts to almost 8,400 pounds of food a year. Is that true or is that false? Second question. The donkey's eye placement helps it see all its four feet at one time. Is that true or is that false? Only you can decide. Another question. A cow can give almost 2,000 glasses of milk in a lifetime. 2,000 glasses, that's a lot of milk. True or false? A snail can sleep for three years at a time. Three years, do you think that's true or is that false? How about this one? A lion's roar is so loud that it can be heard up to a distance of five miles. True or false? How about this one? A tusk of elephants keep growing through their life and can weigh over 200,000 pounds. The tusks of an elephant, 2,000 pounds? Only you can decide if it's true or false. Okay, how about this one? A horsefly regurgitates, that brings up its food that it eats, and then it eats it again. Do you think a housefly does that? True or false? Last question. A mosquito has 47 teeth. Is that true or false? All these different information facts came from factsaboutanimals.net. So if you want to check it out, you can go ahead. Now, boys and girls, I don't know what you decided, but every single question that I read that you had to decide was true. Everything was true. When we look at truth, where do we find truth? We have to verify it somewhere, don't we? When we want to know truth about Jesus, where do we find that truth? Well, we look in the Bible. Satan tries to give us all kinds of lies about Jesus. But when we look at the Bible, we can find truth in there. Boys and girls, have a wonderful Sabbath as you look for truth in the Bible about Jesus. Hi kids, how are you? As we begin to learn about what truth is, I want you to find a partner for an activity that we're going to do. I have Caleb and I have Brianna here, and we're gonna do a trust fall. You guys know what a trust fall is? 
First, I'm gonna demonstrate it with Caleb, with Brianna falling into Caleb's lap, Caleb's arms. Are you ready, mm -hmm. Brianna? Turn, you turn around, turn around, and on the count of three, you're gonna fall backwards. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Boom! Was that fun? Uh huh. Okay, Caleb, would you trust it if Brianna caught you? No. What about if I caught you? Yes. Okay, let's go for it. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> How was that, kids? Did you guys have fun? Yes. Okay. Caleb, let me ask you real quick. How did you feel when you fell into my arms? Were you scared? A little bit. But why did you choose to fall anyways? Because I know you. Because you knew me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you knew what I can and can't do, right? Mm -hmm. Brianna, come here real quick. How did you feel when you fell into your brother's arms? I felt good. You felt good? You knew your brother would catch you? Okay guys, thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. Hi kids, I hope you had a good time doing those trust falls. I certainly hope that nobody dropped each other. Kids, that ties into the lesson today. This entire month, we're gonna be looking at what Paul wrote to the church in Galatia, the book of Galatians. As we look at that book, the big theme that Paul wants us to remember is this, that we're saved through Jesus Christ. And as a result of us being saved through Jesus Christ, what comes out of us is all the good stuff, not the other way around. We don't have to earn, do good deeds to earn God's favor, but rather because Jesus saved us, because he has given us good things, therefore out of response to his love, we do good works. So right here as Paul begins the, the first chapter of the book of Galatians, he starts by saying that, listen, I, I, I'm rather disappointed with you. You guys are kind of giving up because you're preaching a gospel that, gospel by the way means good news, not the gospel that I've been teaching. You see, Paul, before he became Paul, do you guys remember what his name was? His name was Saul. And what did Saul do? Saul persecuted people that followed Jesus. Now, who was Saul? You guys remember, he was a very highly educated person. In fact, he was educated by Gamaliel. And Gamaliel was one of the most famous biblical scholars at that time. And so Paul thought he knew everything. In fact, Paul was a Pharisee, and a Pharisee was, you had to be very highly educated and very special, and very smart to be a, Phar a Pharisee. So Saul thought he knew it all. And so when he saw people that were following this person called Jesus, he went out and he started hurting them because they were following a person that, ooh, that he, he wasn't sure. But on the road to Damascus, on the way for him to hurt people, God came to him in a big bright light. And he encountered Paul and, and, and Saul and he said, Saul, Saul, who are you persecuting? And, and he said, uh, who are you? He goes, I'm the one you're persecuting. And from then on, after Saul encountered Jesus, he began to understand what this good news that Jesus had taught. The fact that Jesus uh, came to this earth, he died on, he died on the cross and he rose again to save us. It, it, it began to get into Paul's head and he, he realized that all the stuff that he was teaching, he had seen it from the wrong perspective. And you see kids, when we follow Jesus, when we learn, to, when we read the Bible, the Bible, we believe that it's true. The Bible says that God's word is truth, right? The truth should make us do good things. But if we say we know the truth, but we're not doing good things like Jesus would want us to, then, we, then we've got to relook at it again. Because you see, the devil is out to trick us. He, he, you remember, Pastor Shauna played a, a little game with you, right? She told two things that were real and, one, one, and maybe something that wasn't real. And the only way to know what's real, what's truth, is to know the real thing. And God's Word, the Bible, is, it is the way we get to know Jesus 
and through that and, and, and through prayer. Because when we know the real thing, when we know who Jesus is, we'll know when it's false, stuff's false. For instance, you know when Caleb and, and Brianna, as they learn to they learn to trust each other and ultimately and to trust me. The only way they've gotten to, to know that if they fall back, I'll catch them is because over the, the Caleb is eight years old and Brianna's three years old, they've gotten to know me. And they know what I can and cannot do. It's the same thing with us and God. When we know Jesus, and when we learn, when we know that he's strong enough to take care of us, when we know that what he says is true, we'll be willing to follow him easily. You know, guys, it, in, in this day and age that we live in, there are people out there in, in, in banks, right? And they work with money. Now, money is made up of what? It's made out of paper. Now, you would think that if you got a, any old blank piece of paper and wrote two or $100 on it, it, it would be the same thing as money, because after all, it's paper. But you guys know full well that Money is made out of a special paper. And so the people that deal with money a lot, they learn to tell what's real and what's not real because there are bad guys out there that try to make fake money, right? And in order for them to learn what is real money and what's not real money, they study the real money in great detail so that when they come across something that's not real, they'll know the difference right away. And that's the same thing with us and, and Jesus. When we read the Bible, when we pray, when we get to know Jesus and have a relationship with him, when Satan tries to trick us and teach us to do things that are, may seem right, but not, not really, we'll know what's real because we've gotten to know Jesus and we've gotten to know him closely. So kids, as we begin our study on the book of Galatians, I would hope that you fall in love with Jesus deeper so that we know Jesus so well that, so that when Satan tries to come and trick us and lead us in, in a different way, we'll know what truth is and what fake stuff, what, what fake stuff is. So kids, have a great Sabbath and get to know Jesus more and more each day.